Cena's Corner. World's number one rhythm game reviewer. All right, guys, what's going on? All right, just a PAX East wrap-up. What I found out, what I thought, all that good stuff. So let's jump into it. So let's do it, Rock Band 3. Everybody wanted to know, what did we learn from harmonics? What did harmonics tell us? Absolutely, 100%, nothing. They were so tight-lipped on Rock Band 3 that we have to wait until E3. I couldn't even get anything out of my friend, John Drake. But the one thing that was spilled, as you already heard, is that there will be harmonies in Rock Band 3. Now, I had already came out and told you that was going to happen. I knew they were going to do that. It would be like reverse engineering something if they did not put harmonies in the game. Since we know it can be done with uh, Rock Band Beatles as well as Rock Band Green Day, I believe, also has harmonies in it as well. So, that was kind of like a given. But I do want to ease everybody's mind and let you know that that was not an intentional leak of any kind. Because they had already told us in the harmonics conference with the developers that we could absolutely possibly 100% not ask anything in regards to Rock Band 3. For those of you that weren't there, uh, it was funny because John Drake actually did come in. He was kind of upset that got leaked out, but it wasn't any major news. So your boy, just like Rock Band Aid, is still in the dark. We can only speculate, which is what we're going to do. So the video I put up a long time ago but what you guys want to see in Rock Band 3, later this week, I'm going to be taking that. And it's going to be a long video. I'm letting you know that right now because I want to get as many questions as possible. YouTube still hasn't partnered me, so I only have 10 minutes a shot. So we're going to get as many things answered as possible. If it's not for you, don't watch it. Don't comment about how long it is. I'm letting you know right now it's going to be long. So we learned nothing new other than there will be harmony. I think one other thing, though, if you did watch my uh, interview with John Drake, See, as a journalist of any kind, you got to know the questions to ask to get you questions for things that they can't talk about in the media. So one of the questions I did ask was, why was there, uh, why were you not able to play harmonies over line in Beatles? So multiplayer, online, Xbox Live, why couldn't you play that in Beatles? And he said, because of latency issues. So I guess, for me at least, I'm taking that to believe that there will not be harmonies over line in Rock Band 3. PAX East was, a bomb, was the, was the bomb. Uh, it was the first time ever in the East Coast. It was held in Boston, Massachusetts. The venue there, though, was very, very, very small. And the good thing for all you guys in the East Coast is PAX East will be back in 2011 just at a different venue. I think they said the Boston Convention Center. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember which one it is. But it would be a different venue and it would be bigger. This venue was so small that everybody was on top of everybody. If you've ever been to E3, it was nothing like E3 where everything was spaced out, and that's where they want to go. However, Jonathan Colton came out and met up with the crowd there at E3, as well as some other RBN, um, uh, RBN artists that has not been in the game. So I thought it was phenomenal. Uh, it was nice to see a crowd of people get ready, uh, be out there like you can at E3. Also, the Rock Band Network Lounge was in full effect. This is where you could come in. They had a lounge atmosphere. They had a bar there and the whole nine yards. And you can come in and you could play Rock Band 2, Rock Band Green Day, and RBN. Now, they had it on the schedule to where certain days you could play, uh, certain times they would switch over and all you could play would be like RBN, which I thought was cool. But the other cool thing is you get to go to one of these things is you get to play every single DLC song that there is even the ones that has not been released yet. As you guys know, the Jimi Hendrix pack either came out on Tuesday or will be this Tuesday. We already had all of the Jimi Hendrix songs that's going to come out right there. So that's a cool thing about being there live and exclusive. Do I think Pack East is going to be a success in the East Coast? I do. Because it's getting, if you guys are public, whether you go East or West, this is your opportunity to get your hands on some things that you can't get your hands on at E3 because E3 is strictly for people like myself that's in the industry, the media, so on and so forth. For everybody who don't know, my title is media because of the fact that I report this stuff and I do reviews. A reviewer is the same as the media because we're getting things out there for you guys. Um, and I'm also a journalist. I've, I've been a journalist for a long time uh, and that's something I really like to do. So I'm just now a video journalist. But... Media is only allowed to eat three, as you guys know. So this is where you want to go if you want to get your hands on some stuff. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to you about, the power gig, is a lot of you think the power gig was going to be one thing or the next. Let me just clarify that real quick and tell you what I'm trying to do about it. 
I did see Power Gig, but I saw no Power Gig gameplay. That is because Power Gig is going to come as a game of his own. It is a real guitar. It does have the colored frets or the colored um, painted on top of there, but it's a real guitar. But I could not get any straight answers as if it was going to work with Rock Band or Guitar Hero. Now, what I did, what was handed to me was a press release that basically said nothing of Rock Band, nothing of Green, or nothing of Green Day, nothing of Guitar Hero. But it did tell me that they were coming out with their own game, with their own villains and heroes to accommodate this guitar. When I talked to some people there, I got to make a call this week because I was told they didn't want to release any information until E3. And I kind of tried to tell the guy that was there that that is pretty bad news. I did something that I've already done to U-Rock Guitar and that a lot of people that I knew was waiting for a, you know, something to be on this power gig. So he told me to give them a call this week and he would put me in contact with somebody that maybe they can get me one out and I can review it for you before his E3. If all else fails, I'm not going to know anything more about the power gig until E3. But being media, all I can do is speculate and tell you that at this point, from what I've read in the official press release, as of right now, I do not know if it's, not, if it's going to work in Rock Band or Guitar Hero, period. Uh, but I can tell you there's going to be a lot of good things in there. They have a thing called chord play. Where if you're playing in the in the game that's going to come with it, you can choose to turn that on and you're actually playing chords. And it'll show you the chords you need to play. So this is also going to be a learning device as well as a gaming device. So I can't wait to get my hands on that. Also, I saw another thing called Open Chord, which is kind of like the same thing. Except for you can take your own guitar and you put this little chip in the back of it and it turns it into a gaming controller. I'm going to see if I can get my hands a little bit more on Open Chord as well. But anyways, other than that, I thought it was good. It was good. For, it was glad. For, I can't talk today. It was a good time to meet up with people that I've been trying to meet up with for years. Got to go to an awesome five-band concert all about harmonics bands. Uh, you know, Main Drag was there. That Handsome Devil, Death of the Cool, Anarchy Club, and the Cunks. They all came out uh, and they rocked it. If you don't think these guys have any more songs that should be put in at Rock Band Network, or even rock band in general, you're wrong. They all had awesome sets, and you get to know a lot more about the bands. Then we went that, that next morning to Harmonix um, Developers Conference, and then from there, we just hung out all, all day. I was there to promote Team Cena as well as Cena's Corner, so I want to thank Bobo from New England Music Supply for uh, taking me along with him to promote Team Cena. Uh, which is what I did. I got to meet several of my Team Cena members that was there. Got to meet awesome people from the VVV community, um, as well as some of my ASO PMS peeps who's also out there. So I want to thank Bobby for that. And uh, of course, no matter what I'm going to promote, I'm always working. So I was promoting my team and also getting tidbits for you guys for here at Cena's Corner, which is what I've done. All right. So I guess that's basically my wrap up for PAX East. It was uh, it was fun. It was I was tired. My wisdom teeth is still trying to come in, so that caused a little bit of a hindrance. Uh, I'm surprised I can talk to you right now, but it's doing pretty well. So look, come down the pipeline. Uh, I'm going to come out here with the Rock Band answer, the Rock Band Three answer video that I have put up. <clears throat> so a lot of you guys want to watch that because some of your questions may be in there. And I'm going to answer them from things that I know and we're going to speculate a little bit of what we think is going to happen and I'm going to kind of speculate a little bit more on what I think that my friends at Harmonix were, were saying between the lines but they really couldn't say it. All of the speculatory because we really don't know and I really, I, honestly, they didn't tell me Rock Band Aid and they know who both of us are very well. They would tell us absolutely nothing and we went from John Drake and we went to Harmonix Henry and I know that Rock Band Aid has interviews with my per one of my personal favorites, harmonics people, um, Helen McWilliams, and a couple other people, and we got absolutely nothing out of them. I can tell you that they are very excited, though, about releasing Rock Band 3, and they do feel like this is going to be above and beyond what they've already done so far. All right, so that's it. You guys know how to get a hold of me if you need to. CNSCNSCorner.com. You can check out my website, www.CNSCorner.com. And that's it. Until next time, peace, love, keep rocking out, and we'll catch you guys next time.